A person's writing style can be a very personal thing. Everyone has their own way of using words. But what if someone else figures out how to copy that style and then uses it as a way to commit fraud? It's something those who study artificial intelligence have an eye on. And some are turning the tables around to use AI tools to stop such fraud. Well, Trend Micro has just unveiled one of these tools. And here to talk about the problem and possible solutions to it is the company's VP of Cybersecurity, Greg Young. Greg, walk us through this. Is this mostly talking about somebody figures out my writing style, sends an email to my mom or to my friend, and uses that as a way in, and then can all of a sudden access transfer me money, access accounts, whatever it may be. Exactly right. By having intelligence about you, for example, knowing where you're traveling, what hotel you're in, copying your writing style, they can direct something. And in the most significant cases are where it's a CEO or CFO directing a wire transfer to be done. Okay, so it, has this been a problem? I mean, have we seen uh, large-scale fraud of, on, on this scale happening to CEOs and to companies already? Absolutely, we've seen this already. Um, and it's, these are the carefully crafted attacks. There's about 150 emails, 150 million emails sent every minute. So it's the ones that are really carefully crafted, what we call spear phishing, or very targeted ones. Those are the successful ones. We've even seen security company CEOs be fooled. <laughs> Isn't that ironic? All right, so what does your tool do, and how does it sort of uh, try to catch this uh, ahead of time? The big news in the tech industry right now is artificial intelligence, or AI. And by learning more about writing styles and getting more specific than a human can be about it, uh, how many pronouns are used, what your writing style, the kinds of words you use, that can be really uh, useful in spotting these fake emails. Okay, can, can you give me an example? I mean, you guys have this tool up and running. Have you piloted it with a, with a company you can tell us about sort of, do, do they you know, run all of my emails through it and then it gets to know my writing style? It sounds like a pretty labor intensive way of stopping people from clicking on, on bad emails. Yeah, exactly right. So by, by getting a lot of information beforehand and analyzing them with this extensive detail that only artificial intelligence can do, it can be a very unique kind of fingerprint for what your writing style is that an attacker wouldn't be able to uh, likely uh, duplicate. In, in a lot of these cases, we see you guys, the security experts, come up with a way of solving a problem, sometimes just moments before or even moments after the bad guys have figured out a way to do it in a new way. Do we assume at some point that the, the scammers and the fraudsters are going to be using AI themselves to mirror my writing style so they can get in and access a, a wire transfer, whatever it may be? Are they even doing that yet? Yeah, absolutely. We, we want to get ahead of the bad guys. It's always this measure, countermeasure kind of back and forth uh, attack defense that goes on. But in this case with AI, we really wanted to get ahead of the bad guys because the alternative would be if they could have fingerprints before we had them, um, it would be a very significant disadvantage. There, there are security tools that I would use in my home with my kids and my wife and our sort of home network. There are ones that an IBM or a Microsoft might use. Who buys a tool like this one? This is really targeted towards those critical, uh, critical employees or critical staff in your, in your organization. CEOs, CFOs, of course it can be expanded elsewhere, but it's the, the people who can have signing authority, the critical people, network administrators, those are the, the people that are, are most targeted by the, by the attackers today. And I assume the size of the company is generally, you're talking about a fairly large corporation here. Well, there's different kinds of tools uh, across the spectrum. Again, for simple malware attachments, there's those. Uh, but for this kind of writing style analysis, there's some basic tools, but the most advanced ones that take a lot of computing power to solve, that's the ones that the best kinds of AI are targeted at today. Hopefully, the kinds of uh, resources that the bad guys don't have available to them right now. I wonder in closing, Greg, what, what a tool like this and the invention of it and the selling of it tells us about this moment that we're in and how quickly things are changing. Yeah, it's just, it's so fast now. We used to have, you know, months, years, quarters to make these kinds of advances, but now it's a really fast-paced kind of, uh, you know, cyber warfare landscape we're in. Measure, countermeasure, and uh, the predictive nature of this, trying to get ahead of the bad guys before they use AI against us is a really crucial step. All right, Greg, we're going to have to leave it there. But fascinating stuff as always. Thanks for this. Well, thanks, Peter. Greg Young, VP of Cybersecurity at Trend Micro.